Hey guys, this is Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So this reading will be for Leo couples, July 2017. So I had to do this video again, guys, because I accidentally deleted the other one. Um, no biggie. We're just going to start over again. Give you guys a fresh reading. Maybe some things have changed. Um, let me go ahead and finish shuffling these cards. All right. So let's go ahead and pull for Leo couple. You know, I thought these would change, um, but they didn't. So this is definitely a message that needs to get 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 out. Um, there may have been some some, some deception, um, someone not being totally true in this relationship um, or in this situation. Um, I do see for some Leos, if you're um, coupling up, if this is a new relationship, then this could possibly be your soulmate. I do see a soulmate coming in uh, for some Leos, but for some Leos, I see a relationship falling apart, and I see you ready to be free because you found someone that was deceiving you or someone was deceptive to you. And just like in your general reading and the other two readings that I did on you, um, you need to focus on loving yourself this month. You really need to focus on putting that love into yourself because in this relationship, I see it's more one-sided. And I'm honestly, I, I believe it's more of you, you giving and not receiving. And I don't think that's fair for you, Leo. So, um... That someone that's deceiving you or not being all the way honest or truthful with you, you need to really, you know, weigh your options when it comes to that relationship. And this might have something to do with, you know, financial issues as well. Um, just like in your reading, I said you need to work on your spiritual path. I do see you um, being influenced even in your love life with your, your religion. So you really need to focus on getting your spiritual path and following in your true nature um like i said for some of you i do see a soulmate coming in let's pull these clarification cards i see some thoughts being blocked you are you are closing yourself in um you feel that someone is deceiving you and you're just not, you're not going for it right now. You're trying to get yourself out of that situation, you know, get moving. Um, you don't want to feel boxed in and closed in by this person. My cards are upside down as usual. Um, <laughs> I do that a lot, guys. Um, so, and you know, that there, there's a, a sense of a stalemate, you know, you don't want, but that's not what you want. You don't want to feel that. You want to move past the situation. Um, you definitely want to move past the situation. You feel like you're at a standstill. And I only say that because I got the four of swords. So you definitely feel like right now um, <clears throat> you're stuck. You're stuck in this situation. Or, or even if you're not stuck, you feel like you're at a standstill if you let this situation go. Like maybe you're letting your soulmate pass. But I don't think that's the case. I think that for some of you, yes, you are dealing with your soulmate. Um, but I think that's a new energy coming in. Um this old energy that was in, this negative energy that was in, I really think that you need to free yourself from that energy so that you can receive this soulmate coming in. Um, let's see what this is. Yeah. I do see that soulmate coming in fast um, for some Leos. And I also saw that in the singles reading. So there's definitely a soulmate situation coming in for those who have, were in this situation last month where you had this breakup or some things that fell apart. You do have a soulmate connection coming in very, very, very fast. I got the eight of wands. So this is something that's coming in very soon. So it's some choices that need to be made within this old relationship. Um, ooh. I mean, <laughs> this is definitely a soulmate um, situation right here. Let's go ahead and pull. Let's see why. Like, 
like I said, you felt like there was not a lot of giving and taking in this relationship, this old relationship. So therefore, you need to learn yourself first and 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 learn when you how do I put this when you love yourself, you're better equipped to love other people. Like you can't love someone if you don't love yourself because that's something fundamentally you have to learn to do. And if you haven't learned to love yourself, you literally don't have the capacity to love anyone else. And I know I said that like four times, but you, I'm trying to get my point across. Like you literally have to learn, you have to love yourself. You have to cherish yourself, nurture yourself, know how great you are to yourself and how important you are in your life. And other people will see that in you and that will draw the people that are meant to be in your life. The good karma, the good intentions, you know, the, the people that are meant to help you on your path of, you know, growth. Those are the people you want in your life. When you bring, when you have that negative feeling or you just, you know, have that negative influence around you, that's what you breed, that's what you bring into your negativity. So if you're trying to be, you get what I'm saying, love yourself first. I'm just talking, talking. Love yourself first, Leo. Love yourself first and watch that new energy come in and just blow you away. Um, let's see what this is about up here. Who's wearing a mask in this relationship? Leo's, I need you to be all the way 100 this month. You understand? Like, don't let, don't, if someone come to you with something, just be straight up with them. Tell them how you feel, you know, tell them the truth about any situation. I only say that because you got deception and that means either you're being deceiving or someone is being deceiving to you. And I honestly think it's you being deceiving because you got this good energy coming in. But I think if you don't be careful, you may kind of taint this situation before you actually move forward with it. So definitely, um... You know, be 100 about a situation. Whatever you're doing, let them know. Um, okay. Now, this situation that's coming in, I do see it very beneficial to your finances and to your goals. So, this person might be a person that kind of lights that fire you and gets you moving. Um, and bears plenty of gifts for you. And gifts doesn't necessarily mean monetary. It doesn't mean that they're going to buy you a bunch of things, but they may bring like actual gifts to your life, creativity, you know, um, help you get started on some things that I see you've been working on and some things that you have been working on now. My Leo's been working, so this person can benefit as well as, you know, bring you that feeling that you never had before. This is a soulmate connection. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, let me go ahead and pull an oracle card in the wrong deck so I can see what the spirit guys have to say this month to bring this energy on in, get you out of this funk, get you out of this bad situation that you're in, and get you to some real love. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> I can't see you. So let's go ahead and pull. Mm. Undying love and transformation. So you definitely going out of this eh situation right here, this bad situation right here, into a soulmate situation. The person that is destined for you. So you definitely need let me see what you gotta work on because I pull these up quick. I usually don't pull them up that quick. I usually talk a little bit about it. But there must be something in here that needs to be put out. Let's see what you need to work on to bring this in. Okay, so the first card I seen was tolerance. And let me tell you why that stuck out to me. One thing I know, <laughs> when you're dealing with a soulmate twin flame situation, it is normally someone that you would not normally ever even be possibly attracted to or you might be attracted to but not someone that you would you know normally go for so tolerance is definitely key when you're dealing with a soulmate situation you got to understand that you what you feel is you're not going to be able to deny it but even though mentally you might be like i don't even know what i see in this person you got to get past that because i do see a soulmate um situation coming in you got loyalty friendliness I told you be honest you got to be honest and be humble 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 very humble and I know that's hard for my Leos because y'all gonna shine bright no matter what y'all do but you got to be humble so let's see what our spirit guys have to say for this month I'm gonna close this reading up um 
it says the love you have the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation like i said there is a soulmate situation coming in what you need to do you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings so all this transforming from this bad relationship that you thought was good um you getting out this relationship it all is turning over for the good and i think i said this last month when you guys got the tower when things fall apart it's a it's for something greater to be built so this is your greater being built stick with it be honest um be tolerant and and show show a little humility you know i think that's all i got for you guys couples y'all looking good now i know y'all going through some things that probably don't feel that way but things are going to be looking up toward the middle of this month y'all just you know hold tight all right this has been your reading for july 2017 for my leo couples um if you guys would like a personal reading, I'll put my email in the description box. If you guys purchase a reading for $25 or more, you get a guaranteed follow-up reading within two weeks. Um, what else do I got? Um, I'll put all my other links to my social media accounts in the description so you guys can follow me on my all my social media outlets. I follow back. I respond back. Please, guys, comment on my videos. Tell me what you think. I really would like for you guys to comment. Um... I love to hear you. I love to read your comments too. It's it's awesome. Um, if you have not subscribed to my page, please subscribe. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you. Thank you. It's greatly appreciated. Um, thank you guys for everything. You know, I, I really I really love doing this and I love reading for you guys. So thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your feedback. It is absolutely amazing to me. Um, if you guys would like to donate to my GoFundMe, I put my GoFundMe account information at the bottom of the description. I also put my PayPal me information at the bottom of the description. And I'll put the links to the singles reading and the general reading and to your birthday reading. Leo's, I did you guys a birthday reading. Happy birthday, Leo's. Um, that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, stay tuned. I will be doing the mid-month uh, around the 15th-ish. Um, that's all I got. Y'all have a good night.